Jack and Meg White were known as the White Stripes. They were an American rock duo. At first, they perpe uh, perpetuated the idea that they were brother and sister, uh, but in fact they weren't. They were a married couple and then uh, a divorced couple. Uh, their music was generally categorized as garage rock due to the simplicity of it. Um, and they use a strict aesthetic of the colours red, white and black um, and are best known for the single Seven Nation Army. They existed from 1997 to 2011 and released six albums. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the second album by the White Stripes. Um, it, I think it's my first listen to it, but I have uh, heard some White Stripes stuff before. In fact, in previous uh, incarnations of uh, doing reviews, I have uh, reviewed White Stripes albums before, um, but not this one. Uh, so I would describe this as uh, garage rock with a definite blues element to it. And uh, the garage element of that, uh, to me, means that it's, it's recorded with the pretense of lack of sophistication. Um, and I've been quite careful my, with my wording there because I think there is sophistication in here, but it's, it's recorded in such a way as to appear to be uh, quite naive and quite uh, musically uh, simple. So it's it's mostly drums, guitar, and vocals. There are a few other things in here. Um, the the drums are so as Meg White on the drums, um, and I find I find it really interesting uh, the White Stripes and the way that they play and the way that stuff's put together. And I'm pretty sure it's Jack is the mastermind of this. Um, so the drums are quite simple drums generally, and they lag the guitar slightly. Uh, which is unusual. Uh, you can tell that the guitar is leading, so Jack's leading when they record, but you also can tell that they're recording effectively live rather than doing overdubs. There are overdubs on other bits, but the core of it is is done with the guitar and the drums at least uh, playing live. But um, she's also uh, doing a really good job of listening, and the timing can at times be quite fluid. Uh, and so... Um, Jack on the guitar pulls the timing, makes it a little faster, makes it a little slower, and she's following that really well. Um, so the drum sounds are very acoustic, um, uh, by which I mean that it sounds like a kit that's been recorded in a garage or somewhere. It's quite a big kind of thick sound, um, which suits the fact that there's not many instruments going on uh, well, because there's you know, between them, uh, there are overdubs of other stuff, as I was saying, but between them, they basically have to fill the, the sonic uh, palette. Um, the guitars, there's a mixture of different sounds. I think it's all electric. Um, there's definitely uh, quite a few different settings, maybe even different guitars used. Uh, there's a reasonable amount of slide guitar being done, and it's done quite nicely. I like it. There's a lot of blues influence in here. Um, and they... Um, they make it sound good, and it's part of me kind of thinks, how do they do that? But it's it's kind of it's a clever trick. It's a bit like uh, having something like a, a supermodel wearing dungarees and just going, yeah, I can be cool in these, and just making it work. And it's similar. They got the kind of uh, it's not musically so sophisticated. It's recorded in a quite a simplistic way, but they've done it in such a way where they use that well. Um, and if if there's anything that I think is the, the real strength of, uh, again, I'm pretty sure it's Jack is the mastermind behind this, is that his ability to do that and to use the fact that there's only the two of them actually to advantage rather than to disadvantage. Um, most of the songs are written by Jack. Uh, there are a couple uh, of uh, covers, one by a guy called Eddie James and another one by a guy called Blind Willie McTell. Uh, the songs are not generally about that much. They're kind of blues standard, not so much about how bad life is, but stuff about romance and about life and things like that. Um, probably my favourite track on the album is a track called Apple Blossom, which is a bit mellower than some of the other tracks. Um, I, I think 
Jack's got a, a pretty good voice, actually. It's not technical, but it is expressive, and it's got a nice mixture of kind of quite a raw sound to it, but also a, a certain vulnerability to it. And again, that plays well into the uh, the garage aesthetic of the whole thing. So it's a good album. I enjoyed it. Um, I know there are plenty more White Stripes albums to come in this list, so I'm looking forward to them. Um, and as always, I'd love to know what you think of it. So please talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now. Hey, little apple blossom, what seems to be the problem? All the ones you tell your troubles to, they don't really care for you. Come and tell me what you're thinking, cause just when 